Yo, what's up everyone? So um, I'm here today uh, with some Yeezy 350 boost. I was luckily uh, gifted these from a friend. I don't know too much about shoes, but I'm gonna do an honest review on them because they are highly demanded. I have two pairs of V2s with me and two pairs of V1s, but the thing about the V1s are they are, they're, they're fake. So let's get started. I'm gonna start with the version twos. Uh, these are my favorite pair, honestly. They look the cleanest, even though they get the dirtiest. Let's get popping. All right, so I, like I said, I have tried these on a couple times. As you can tell, they're a little dirty. That's the thing about white shoes, they get dirty super quick. So comfortability, I would say is probably like a eight to nine out of 10. They are very comfortable due to the boost technology. The upper sole, I don't even, the upper, the shoe box, uh, the, the top of the shoe, I don't know what you sneakerheads would call it. It's very soft. It has a lot of cushioning in the heel for the heel area, and it just fits perfectly around the, your feet. I have Ultra Boost on right now, actually. Uh, I would say uh, they can compare with each other. I honestly believe that the Ultra Boost are more comfortable. Yeah, they feel very similar. I should have done some research because I have no clue what the heck I'm looking at. It is a lot better than your average shoe. I'll tell you that. Now on to the aesthetics. The aesthetics. They are great looking shoes. Like I really like how the shoelaces come out of the shoe and not just out of a loop and it has no tongue. It's like one solid shoe flows very well. And you can wear it with like shorts. You can wear it with socks, no sock, ankle sock, top socks, all kinds of socks. In terms of urban wear, I would say they're probably the top line shoe. They are. Yes, they are. They are great looking. In terms of aesthetics, I would give it a 10 out of 10. Quality, oh baby, this is a great shoe. It's just like sewn very well. I don't even know how they made it. Like other shoes, I, I could kind of guess. This, I don't even know. The material is very thick, thick, T-H-I-C-C. -C. The top is made out of some kind of, I don't know, like some kind of upgrading mesh. The laces, they're like ropes, like they thick as hell. I mean, heck, heck, I don't, I don't curse. Honestly, you could probably hang yourself with these. The back right here is sewn on super well. I actually tried pulling it out, didn't work. Strong as heck. I took the soles out because my feet are big. I'm telling you, these these shoes cold. They feel good without soles. Think about that. This part, I have no clue how they did that, but it is super cool. It, the stitching is like, if I cut my arm, I would ask Yeezy to stitch me up, cause this is this is perfect. Quality wise, I would give it a nine out of ten. It does have some flaws, like uh, it doesn't have flaws. It's a ten out of ten. Affordability. The resale price. Just... So they are two hundred retail. What about these? What was I saying? So, these retail for 220 and their resale price could go up to like 1500. No, anywhere between 500 and 1500. If there's no line, yeah, I I'd buy them. But for resale, heck no. The most I would probably buy them for is 300. Resale price is probably like a four out of 10, but retail price, I would say seven out of 10. 200, that's a lot for some shoes. Honestly, if you compare them to the Ultra Boost, which are 180, you get in the same bank for your book. Bang, it's bang for you, but that's all I gotta say about these shoes. The overall shoe, I would say, is an eight and a half out of 10. <laughs> the real stuff, the fake Yeezys. Honestly, the comfortability is the exact same. Like, these are V2s, they're like upgraded, of course, and these are V1, fake V1s. They feel the same. These two, they, they feel the same, if not better. No, I'm just kidding. Vietnam must have <laughs> somehow found the secret because they feel the exact same. Well, uh, these were a gift as well from Vietnam. Uh, I had a couple friends go up there and my sister, and they both each time bought me some fake pair of Yeezys. Appreciate that. But uh, the back, of course, the stitching is not the same. It looks a little off. I think they have more stitches or something, something like that. But the big difference that I know of is the lining of the back is supposed to curve up, and these, as you can see, for both of these, they both go straight. Uh, but other than that, I feel like they're pretty well. This one, this one sucks. I don't even wear those. These I've gotten away with. The quality is not as good. For some reason, they're a little flimsier. They're like uh, Play-Doh. You can mold them, shave them. The material I would say is not as thick. That's why it's so much more flimsier. You can't hang yourself with this. They're like some average running shoe laces. Like you can find them on some New Balances or something. The material outside does not feel as thick and smooth, this one. This one feels like, I don't know, like it could rip easy. Affordability, these was worth it. They was 30 bucks. Just think about that. 220, 
30. The fake ones, I would say, overall, I would say these these are up there. They still look better than the average shoe. I would give them a seven out of 10. Six and a half, I'll go with six and a half. So thanks for watching uh, my honest review because I'm so honest. Honestly, I'll probably see you guys next week. <laughs> Honestly, honest.